Legionnaires, so with the release of the Captain Marvel teaser trailer the other day, I thought it'd be a good idea if we discussed the Marvel movies that are coming out in 2019. language. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space invasion. Big car chase. Truth be told, I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. So, you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. No idea what threats are out there. We can't do this alone. We need you. I'm not what you think I am. Okay, so next year, we have three movies of Marvel goodness lined up to come out, starting in March with Captain Marvel, then moving down to May with Avengers 4, which is yet untitled, and then later on in the year, we have Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, let's put Spider-Man Far From Home on the back burner a bit, because it's further down in the year. What I first want to discuss with you guys is this obvious thing where Marvel is moving more towards its cosmic character. And in the Captain Marvel trailer, it seems pretty obvious also that they're doing a spin on the Secret Invasion storyline from the comic books where the shapeshifting squirrels attempted to take over Earth by replacing some of the more popular heroes with shapeshifting copies. Now I'm actually kind of happy about that because this would clear the way for the big bad that I really want to see as the, the phase goes on. Now when Avengers 4 comes out, they're going to wrap up the whole Thanos storyline. And because it seems like it's kind of got a multiversal, reality-altering sort of theme to it, I'm pretty sure, fairly sure, that they're going to tease some brand new cosmic characters, or characters just in general. When you combine that with the fact that Disney is purchasing Fox, the deal is going to go through, that opens up a lane for a lot of characters that we haven't seen before. And one in particular that we have seen but wasn't done right. Galactus. That's right, the big purple planet eater. Now Fox's attempt at Galactus in the old Fantastic Four movie absolutely sucked. I hated it. But now with Galactus coming home, they can actually do him right this time. And it fits because Marvel has opened the door to their cosmic arena actually starting with the Guardians of the Galaxy, but I would even go so far as to say it started with Thor. Because now it's well established that there are worlds and civilizations beyond just Earth in the MCU. Now because of the time traveling, reality altering thing that they're obviously going to be doing in Avengers 4, it's going to be a lot easier to insert concepts and characters that we didn't see previously. Because the question will always be asked, well if Galactus was such a threat, how come we didn't hear about him before? or maybe he wasn't a threat before Thanos start playing games with reality. And Galactus, as far as I'm concerned, is the perfect big bad to build that phase around. Now over the years in the comics, they've kind of scaled Galactus down a lot, having him job for characters that he shouldn't have jobbed to. 
But previously, Galactus was the ultimate threat. If he came to your planet, it's a wrap. Cancel Christmas, it's over. So for all the, the superheroes in the MCU to have to come together once again to stop a threat like this would be epic. Anyway, that's who I wanna see next. I wanna see them build everything around Galactus so that even though they're introducing all of these new characters, cause I got a feeling in Avengers 4, we're gonna get so many Easter eggs, it's gonna actually look like Easter. I predict we're gonna get a Fantastic Four teaser. I predict that we're gonna get an X-Men teaser. I could be completely wrong, but this is the perfect time to do it. But anyway, it's not just about me, it's also about the Legion, so I wanna hear from you. Which villain, which big threat do you think the Marvel Cinematic Universe should build around for this upcoming phase? Cause I vote Galactus. But he's not the only big threat. He's not the only big storyline they can use. I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. Well anyway, that's all for me today, Legion. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be a part of the Legion, just like, share, and subscribe to the Reaper Legion Network and help our growing community become a larger community. And as always, please geek responsibly.